I'm John Stone Street, and welcome to this week's Two Minute Warning. We're wrapping up our series here on culture, and we've talked about what culture is, we've talked about the proper Christian posture to culture, and what it means to use culture well and not misuse it. But I want to end up our series here by talking about the life and legacy of Chuck Colson. More than anyone else really in the 20th and early 21st century, I think Chuck Colson showed what a Christian engagement with culture ought to be. He was deeply inspired by a theologian that he deeply respected named Abraham Kuyper who once said there's not a single square inch in all of creation where Jesus Christ has not put his foot and say, mine. And Chuck really believed that what it meant to be a Christian in today's world and in any world is to put our foot in every aspect of culture and point and say this belongs to him. That's what Chuck did. That's what he lived. And so many people noticed in the days after his death and so many different eulogies, they noticed something about him. It's one word that I think really encourages us and challenges us as Christians to engage culture well. It was the word courage. Chuck was a courageous person and he deeply believed that we needed courage as Christians to face the world that we lived in. For Chuck, courage came from two sources. First of all, it came from a deep confidence in who we were as created in the image and likeness of God. For Chuck, that idea that humans are in the image of God was a revolutionary idea. It meant that what we did as humans was fundamentally made by God to be good and that we actually had a right and a responsibility to engage the world around us, to be creative and to be thoughtful and to actually leave the world a better place, to look out for the least of these and to actually come up with new strategies of showing other people that their lives were valuable and to pr protect the weak and to take care of the least of these. And Chuck exhibited this both in his ideas as well as his actions as he founded the largest prison ministry that the world has known and actually reframed for a lot of us what justice for prisoners and what rehabilitation and reformation actually mean. For Chuck, that was just part of being human. It was our responsibility to do this in the world around us. But the second thing was even more important, and this really should drive a Christian's courage to engage the culture around him. It was the confidence not just as being created in the image of God, but it was the confidence and the resurrection and the redemption offered by Jesus Christ. You know, what, what Chuck really believed was that no matter what happened in the story of the world, Christians should be characterized by hope. And you know, it's hard to be courageous if you don't have any hope about the story of the world, right? Chuck believed that the story of the world was secure because of one event, one thing that can't be changed. Christ has risen. You know, we look at our culture, we need courage because there are things that just look out of control. There are ways that our culture is taking the issues of marriage or taking the issues of sexuality or life or religious liberty and, and we can really panic. But Chuck believed no matter what happened, the truth was Christ has risen. Islam becomes a force in world history, Christ has risen. More humans lose their lives because of the scourge of abortion, Christ has risen. And that identity that we have as being made in the image of God and as being redeemed to our humanness because of the grace, the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ gives us hope and therefore gives us courage to confront the world around us. And so we got to get on with it. For the Two Minute Warning, I'm John Stone Street.